<coughs> in this video we will be discussing this uh, problem related to AC circuit analysis. So, what the problem is saying here is, so in a series circuit containing a pure resistance and a pure inductance. So, in a circuit only resistance and only inductance is there. The current and voltage are expressed. So, I of t instantaneous current value and instantaneous voltage value is given. And we have to find what is the impedance of the circuit, what is the value of resistance and what is the value of inductance. So, here the voltage and current is given and from there we have to calculate all other values. So, how to do that? So, first what is the impedance of the circuit? Impedance is what? Impedance is Z that is equals to V divided by I. So, here V divided by I. So, we will be taking, so this is actually the instantaneous voltage, the total voltage value that is given, we have to take that as well. So, V divided by I. So, that is equals to how much? So, V is 15 sin of 314T plus 5 pi divided by 6 and divided by I value is given as 5. So, your uh, I value is given as 5 sin of 314t plus 2 pi by 3. Now, with this format we cannot do the calculation. So, what we have to do? We have to represent the voltage and current in its phasor form. So, phasor form means what? We have to represent the amplitude and the phase difference. So, if we do that, then voltage can be represented with amplitude of 15 and with an angle, phase angle. Phase angle is what? How to find that? So, phase angle is basically found from the comparison with the equation V m sin omega t is our standard equation sin omega t plus or minus phi or theta it is our standard equation. So, now if we compare with this equation, so here it is written 15 sin of plus of omega t it is 3 1 4 t then plus 5 pi by 6. So, it is in the radian form. So, if I convert 5 pi by 6 to degrees, how much it will be? So, 5 into 180 divided by 6. So, if I do the calculation, so 5 into 180 divided by 6. So, this is equals to 150 degrees like so here I can write it is 150 degrees divided by similarly 5 angle. So, what will be angle of I here? So, current here. So, that also similarly can be calculated. How we can calculate? So, it is in the format of 5 sin of how much? 314 T plus in the question it is given 2 pi by 3. So, 2 pi by 3 is the phase here. So, that is equals to 2 into 180 divided by 3. So, 60. So, this will be your 120 degree. So, here I will write 120 degree, right. So, that is equals to how much? So, 15 divided by 5, it is 3 and how to find the angle? So, if it is divided, then you have to just uh, subtract the angle. So, this is 30 degree now, ok. So, what is the Z value now? So, I will erase all this, now it is not required, ok. So, what is the Z value now? So, your Z value we found it as 3 with angle of 30 degree. Now, we know that how to represent the Z, Z is as equals to R plus J x we have to represent in this format. So, how to represent this format? We have to convert this to rectangular form. So, in the calculator we can do that directly. So, there are two ways actually. So, I will do it one way. So, how to do that? So, we have to convert this polar to rectangle. So, in the calculator press shift and here your rectangular is written ok. So, it is asking what is the value of r, value of r is 3 I will take and then what is the value of angle, angle is 30 and remember that in question in calculator it should be always in degree mode. So, here you can see if I take the radian then the answer is different, if I take gradient answer is different and if I take degree it is answer is different. So, I know this is in the degree format so I have to write like this. So, that is equals to 2.5 plus 1.5 i ok. So, this is one way of conversion. So, I will show you another way of conversion as well. So, what we have? We have 3 with angle of 30 degree 
so that is what we have so if you write in the calculator in, depending on the mode it will give you this value so this is 2.59 plus 1.55 okay so these two ways you can convert it now this is my z value so this is what this is the r and this is the x now the circuit is saying that only pure inductance is there nothing else is there so actually the x value is what x value is xl minus xc in this case no capacitance is there so this is zero so your x is equals to xl we know the formula of xl that is omega into l okay now omega how much omega is there so you can see in the equation so this 314 is nothing but your omega here so if i write that 314 into l so that implies what will be value of l so l is equals to 314 divided by so my xl is 1.5 so 1.5 right i think i did the mistake uh, yeah so now 1.5 that is the x value that is equals to 314 into l that implies your l value will be equals to how much 1.5 divided by 314 so if i calculate that 1.5 divided by 314 so the value is that is equals to 0.0047 henrys or else you can write this as zero sorry you can write this as 4.7 milli henry as well so this will be your answer for the value of l so l equals to this much so we have calculated what is the impedance of the circuit so this is the impedance of the circuit then we have calculated what is the resistance so this is your resistance value and what is the inductance in henrys so the inductance in henrys we have calculated as this much 4.7 millivolt okay so that's it from this video i hope you have understood this and we'll be discussing some other problem in other videos thank you